Like measure one, measure two is picked using alternating picking, starting in a down direction. Down, up, 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 down, up. Measure two repeats the same sequence of notes four times, once on each quarter note. By taking a look at the first beat, we can understand the entire measure. All the notes in measure two are sixteenth notes. We start with an E5 power chord using our first finger on the seventh fret of the A string and our fourth finger barring the ninth fret on both the D and G strings. Use your flattened fingers to mute the B and high E strings that we're not using. Strum the three strings our fingers are on in a down direction. We follow the E5 power chord with an open low E string. Pick this note in an up direction. The next note is another open low E string, this time picked in a down direction. The last note in beat one is also an open low E, this time picked in an up direction. The P dot M dot symbol tells us to palm mute the strings as we play them. The dotted line continues to the point where the palm mute should be removed. We end up lifting our palm mute on and off, off for the power chord and on for the open low E string notes. It's in your best interest not to lift too far away. Keep the movement only as big as you need for it to work. Repeat the same pattern of notes in beat one for the rest of the measure. When you play the E5 power chord, press your left hand fingers down. When you're playing the open low E string, relax your fingers to help mute the strings. And that's the end of measure two. Thank <laughs> you.